we're going to continue playing some Planet Zoo today. We'll carry on with the career mode. And uh, we're going to carry on with these sort of tutorial levels. We've got Panda Park and the Bear Essentials. So uh, let's jump on into that one and uh, bear with me. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Let the bear puns begin. I demand all your bear puns, Twitch chat. Give them to me. I just love how sort of upbeat and happy the music is. It makes you makes you feel like you're having a great day. Ah, oh, pandas! <laughs> They're my daughter's favorite animal. I think it's fair to say that if ever there was an animal which has captured the public's imagination, it's pandas. Oh, well, that's assuming you ignore cats and dogs, obviously. It'll take more than a cute bear to knock them off of the top spot. <laughs> oh, but did you know, thanks to the incredible conservation work that's being done in China and around the world, pandas are no longer endangered. <laughs> Amazing! That said, they're still considered vulnerable. So, this zoo is extraordinarily lucky and honored to be part of that conservation effort. It really speaks to our reputation, a reputation that you're gonna be in charge of maintaining, along with all the uh, general maintaining too. I really can't tell you how important the welfare of those people are coming to the castle. <laughs> it is vitally important. The eyes of the world are on you, my friend. Although, <laughs> perhaps more pressingly, the eyes of Nancy are on you too. <laughs> uh, yep, can never escape Nancy. Thank you very much, Welcome Awesome Jay, subscribing with a tier one sub. Drew <laughs> off your face. Panda celebration zoo. So new, in fact, that it's not quite finished. But we'll deal with that later. First, let's take a tour of the zoo. It's not finished, uh, but it's already open to the public. Again, this game just looks so good. Don't forget about your right to bear arms. <laughs> I can take just the bare minimum for bear puns. Ah, ah, ah. Bear puns are barely funny. But yeah, give it a go. <laughs> Am I happy that I ditched the mask? Yeah, I'm happy I don't have to wear the mask today. <laughs> oh, dear. Locate Obviously the giant, giant panda. Pandas are the main attraction Habitat. for this zoo, and... Luckily for us, Hello, baby we panda. have one which was born just a few days ago. Let's go and have a look at it. I'm already looking at it, Nancy. Go on, don't be shy. Select so the panda cute. tub. So cute. Look at it. Oh, yes, exactly. Just warm the cockles of your heart. Oh, yeah, my so cockles are warmed. Cute. Did you know that giant pandas, or Ileropoda melanoleuca, for being formal, I beg your are the only entirely herbivorous bears? They can actually eat up to 38 kilos of bamboo a day. <laughs> Not that surprising, given that they'll spend up to 14 hours a day chomping away. I don't imagine this little fluff ball has that kind of appetite yet, though. Oh, they're so oh, cute. No. I just got word from one of our keepers that a sable antelope was placed into a habitat without going through quarantine first, and that they're displaying signs of disease. We'll have to move them into quarantine to stop the infection from spreading to the other animals. So that is an amazing noise that that panda is making. Go to the highlighted habitat, find the infected animal, and then select them to bring up their information panel. Uh, Nancy, I'm I'm busy looking at the cute panda cub. <laughs> the whooshy finger hold, skadoosh. <laughs> Favorite part of the film. Oh yes, Lin Lin. Little panda cub. Oh, so cute. Right, uh, sick antelope. Uh, it's in here somewhere. Assuming it's you. Good. Now click move and then transfer them into quarantine. I've highlighted the quarantine facility in the zoo for you. Have you? There we go. Quarantine, quarantine. Oh, view. That's a relief. 
Now that we've stopped the infection from spreading any further, we need to build a vet surgery so the antelope can be treated and then returned to his habitat. I've already highlighted where I'd like you to build it, so why don't we head over there? Okie dokie. I just love how... Build the vet Excuse me, Nancy, I'm, I'm trying to talk to the Twitch chat. Staff facilities and then vet surgeries. The Dragon Warrior has returned, yeah. I should name I should name the Panda Cup Dragon Warrior. <laughs> I just love the way all these like pre-made parks. Obviously, the developers are way better at planning parks than me. But I just love the way you have all these multi like tiered sections to them. But also how well they separate off the uh, staff only areas. Definitely, when I go like to the franchise mode and build my own zoo, I need to like think way more carefully about how I want it to of lay out, basically. So cool looking, though. Right, um, vet surgery. Build a vet surgery. Oh, it's got to go in there. That's, <laughs> they've left a spot for me. That's cool. Uh, what am I going to play Friday? I'm probably going to carry on the Lubu campaign. May not do it for the whole stream. I might do some more Stellaris or maybe more Planet Zoo. Uh, we will... Uh, We'll see. Let's see what everyone wants to, to show you. Um, add to building. Okay, where's the door? There's the door. Oh, is it not going to... It's only going to let me place it in a certain way. I don't, I don't think we want it sticking out that much. It should just be able to snap in there, shouldn't it? There we go. Boom. That's the job? Vet surgeries play a very important role in a zoo, as they're the only places that vets can treat the animals. Once there's room for the antelope, the vet will pick them up from quarantine and bring them to the surgery. Lovely. Mm. Yes, diseases can spread through a habitat quite easily, especially if the water inside it isn't being cleaned regularly. As it happens, I just got a report that one of our water treatment facilities has broken down, and the water in the flamingo and saltwater crocodile habitats has gotten dirty. Not dirty. I the water treatment facility for you, so you should go and check it out. I will. I need to call the mechanic. Click on the water treatment facility to bring up its information panel. Right, here we go. Yeah, it's not operating that well. Yes, I don't think you need a degree in mechanics to tell that this thing's thoroughly banjaxed. Click call mechanic to get them to come over and fix it for us. Oh, yes. So, just to explain, water treatment facilities work in a similar manner to power sources, in that they have a radius of influence around them. That means any body of water which is even partly within that radius will be cleaned automatically. Oh, good. Also, like power sources, if they get damaged, that radius of influence yeah, it's, will it, shrink. Yeah, it's sparking, Nancy. Meaning that it might stop cleaning water sources which were only just within its reach. I'm uh, if you want to not sure it should be sparking. Your zoo is covered by your water treatment facilities, then there's a heat map you can use. Hey, Santi. I love how well that she is. Way, you can Indeed. Spot problem areas and rectify the issue. She's incredibly well, should I love it. Um um I'm am I still recording any Warhammer 2? Yeah, I've got a, a new Golden now Order Mortal Empire series. Prepared, the water will be cleaned up. Literally just started it uh, the other week. You can also use mechanics to repair power facilities, transport rides, spins, benches, signs, and, as you already know, habitat barriers. Oh, yes. Now, I'll be honest, I'm still a little worried about that disease scare we had, so I think we should do some research into it. Doing research into a disease can help prevent future outbreaks of it, and even if we do have an outbreak, it'll make the disease much less potent. Okay. I'd like you to start some research into border telosis. Disease research can be found in vet research, so head over to your research centre and get one of the vets researching it. Will do. Um, what will I be playing after my Simeon? Once my Simeon series ends, uh, I'm going to be doing a Third Age Total War uh, Divide and Conquer Dol, Dol Amroth People one. are coming to the castle. Dol Amroth series. Thank you very much, Vox. Um, 
Spire down. Thank you very much for subscribing with the Twitch Prime. <laughs> Draw off your face. Um, right. Go to zoo. Go to research. I might need to. Sc yeah, there it is. Let's get Sherry Schaefer. Lovely job. Searching Once it. That research is complete. I expect we'll send that disease packing in no time. Boom. It's over here. That was a close run thing with those antelopes. <laughs> I dread to think what might have happened if you hadn't got them into quarantine as quickly as you did. Fast thinking there. We had a horrible outbreak of viral gastroenteritis here at Goodwin House. Although, luckily, <laughs> that was just limited to me and my wife. Wow. Uh, what have I got to research next? Begin researching just a memento. That. I feel like this is not the right thing I need to click on. Oh, no. No, I don't want the large hut. Why is it not letting me workshop? You workshop. And Here we go. And assign a mechanic to research souvenir shops by dragging and dropping them onto it. I can't wait to see what they come up with. There we go. Great stuff. That research will take a little while, so let's have a look at something else in the meantime. Hello, Swift Killer. Because we've had some good news. Because. What's the good news, Nancy? Oh, is the antelope out of quarantine? It turns out that we're allowed to adopt more giant pandas. Oh, yeah. The authorities have given us three females to help with our breeding program. Even so, I'm sure you know how notoriously difficult it is to get pandas to breed, so we'll have to be patient. Our current giant panda habitat is full to the brim, but luckily we've already got another habitat ready to go. Oh, that's, that's good forward thinking. Before we move our new pandas in, they'll need to go through quarantine. People are coming course, to the castle. We can't do that until we've accepted them. So open up Animal Trading and go into the Animal Reward section. Will do. Thank you very much, Grand, for scoring with Tier 1 Sub for three months. Finally, we can <clears> send them from Animal for your face. Storage to Quarantine. To do that, just select them in Animal Storage, then click Send to Zoo, and then click on the Quarantine Facility in the Zoo. Don't worry, I've highlighted it for you so you can find it easily. It's very kind of you, Nancy. While we wait for them to clear quarantine, you should set up their new habitat so they feel at home in there. I'll also need you to bring over one of the male pandas from our other habitat, but because without him, <laughs> we're not going to have much of a breeding program, are we? Without him, <laughs> so no on, giggity giggity. And get everything set up for your pandas. Oh, look at the new panda zone. Move him to the new panda habitat. Okie dokie. Uh, if we click on the habitat, I can check animals. See all the animals. Check one of the male ones. Um, I'll take you. Move. The new panda habitat. Right, and then we need habitat species. Giant panda. Do what they, what have they got in that one? Can't really see because it's night time and it's snowing. Platform. Are there not any like pre built? I've got any, is there any food? Water bowls? That's terrible. Where's their where's their delta? I'm assuming down there. Got one on this side as well? They do. Okay, right, well. Okay, chuck one of those. 
each side so the people can see it. Eating platform. Let's do that. Put that over there. Medium. Oh, oh, there's a hole. Oh, look, they've got all the bits under here. Oh, that's nice. Got a great little place to chill out. I love it. What do I think game so far? I'm um, really enjoying it. Yeah. Really enjoying it so far. I have a rubbing pillar on each side. Some wind chimes over there. It's, um, there's, there's so much to it. There's uh, just loads to, to see and do. Oh, I can actually give him a little climbing bit. Let's make him a little... bigger platform just pop it on top but oh, I need to snap it on get the angle right there's there's a lot to it and I'm, I'm sure with given time and practice I will get much better at custom designing and to play things as right now not so much No, I should be using the advanced controls probably. I'm just going to do lots of random bits stuck all over the place. Pandas don't want precision, they want randomness. Clearly. There we go. That'll, that'll totally work for the pandas. I'm sorry, pandas, you had me as your designer. What's a good budget PC that I'd recommend? Uh, what, what's your actual sort of budget that you're looking at? Uh, oh, food enrichment. Food, 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 and food. Yeah, what sort of, what sort of budget are you looking at? Ever think about playing Humankind Answers? I've not looked into that one, no. But um, Mondays is my new kind of variety stream day. So what I'm planning on doing on Mondays is... Oh, that one's up in the air. Yeah, it should snap to the ground. Sometimes it doesn't. There's my panda boy. Panda boy. Let's get, find out about your train. Um, train, train, train. You need more short grass and less long grass. Less than a thousand dollars. Yeah, you can build a pretty decent system with that. Um, off the top of my head, um, I don't know of a of a system like straight to mind, but I would say with a thousand dollars, you should be looking at getting something with at least uh, a 1060, a GTX 1060 in it, or um, m might be able to push for a 2060. I'm not sh quite sure on US pricing. Of them in systems at the moment. You'll probably find something with that's got an AMD Ryzen based system that will uh, come in quite nicely under that. If you uh, give me give me an email or, or a tweet later, I'll uh, I'll follow this up for you for sure. Or if you go to my uh, Discord, um, there's a tech support channel in there, and you can always pop it in there, and either myself or one of my Discord peeps will um, be able to help you out. Plants, we need. Temperate and Asia. 
Du, du, du. Asia and temperate. Give you some little azalea bushes. Yeah, you don't like. Okay, where is this? Oh, it's uh, it's it's all around there decorating it. We'll we'll ignore that. We'll ignore that. That's a, that's a big old tree. Oh yeah, bamboo. Give you some bamboo. Why well, you no know, like the plants yet? That electric fence? No, it's uh, it's glass. So. But it's um, one uh, one sided glass, so people can see in. The pandas can't see out, so they won't get too stressed. Ah, cherry blossoms. There we go. Now they're getting happier about the plants. All the cherry blossom trees. Some around the back here as well. There we go. Coverage is better. Little bamboo grove. I'm going to munch through. Love it. Oh, the is that the ape game? Uh, yeah, I didn't even realise it was out. Answer 82. Good news. Our new female pandas have been given a clean bill of health. Good. We'd best move them into the new habitat so they can settle in. Lovely. And I hope you've made their habitat as comfy as possible. I have, because Nancy. Because animals will only breed if they're happy. And a heart X10. Indeedy. So we can bring them in now. Um, so I should be able to do it from... Oh, we've got, have I got to go to the quarantine. All the animals. It's nice and easy then. I can move them all. And bring them here. Oh, bless. I think they'll be really happy in there. Fingers crossed we'll see some lovely new cubs sooner rather than later. Right. While they're being delivered, we'd better get on with something else. Oh, dear me. There's never any time to rest when you're running a zoo, is there? Well, unless you hit the pause button. I was literally about to make that joke. Nancy, okay. but you, you've stolen I that from me. Time I, I feel robbed. <laughs> I know. They don't sound as interesting as the animals, but trust me, they're ever so useful. You see, work zones are a way of making sure that your staff concentrate on specific habitats or tasks within the zoo, so they aren't wandering off elsewhere when it's time to feed the animals or the like. So right. let's start by creating a new work zone, and oh. then assigning a keeper to it so that they know to look after the new pandas. To do that, Go into the zoo section, then click on staff, and then work zones. Let's got our research. So, we need a keeper. Then, click on your new keeper to bring up their information panel and go to their employment tab. Employment. At the bottom, you can assign them to your new work zone from the drop down menu. There we go. And does. There we go. Now that we've got our lovely new Just a Memento shop designed, you should build one of them near the zoo's exit. That way the guests won't miss it on their way out and we won't miss out on their money. Merchandising. Just a Memento. Can I put it anywhere I want, or have they told me to go? Yeah, 
But of course. They always have a plan. in that. Let's get you in there. No, don't sit on top of it. Go inside the building. This is the bit that I, I find tricky. Oh, there we go. Boom. Sometimes it's difficult to get it in there. Anyway. I'm just off for a moment, but I'm sure I'll have some more jobs for you to look at shortly. Lovely. Aww, I tend to put another one in there. Those pandas look just adorable. <laughs> I can see why people keep foolishly forgetting that they're wild bears. And good work on that new gift shop branding. Just a memento. <laughs> Very clever. Much better than our old overpriced gifts branding. <laughs> I'm all for truth in advertising, but it was perhaps a little <laughs> on the nose. Yeah, buddy, yeah. But don't don't give up the day promised. job. Right. I'd like you to increase the number of different species in the zoo. Now, you can find out what species are already in your zoo by going into the zoo section and then into the animals area. And if you're wondering how you're going to fit them all in... Then mixed species habitats are a great way to save space and create interesting habitats. Interesting Just habitats. Just make sure to check the Zoopedia to find out which species enjoy living together. E.g. don't mix lions with antelopes. I think we should. Do, 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 do. Right. Our research. Good, good. What time am I streaming? I am streaming for another hour today. And then I'll be streaming probably for a good four or five hours on Friday. Um, probably not Planet Zoo. It'll probably be, well, it'll be Lubu, my Three Kingdoms series for a good few hours. And then possibly more Stellaris, I reckon. Um, so, need 18 species, and we've currently got 15. Did a couple of exhibitions last time, but you could do some mixed species ones. Let's go to the Zoopedia. Species data. Where do I need to go to find out about mixed species? Does that be quite useful? No. Is there a classic Lionheart discount I can find somewhere? Uh, I don't actually have a discount for this game planet. I don't think actually um, uh, have it available on their site yet. Fortunately. Let's check Wildebeest. Group size. Up to one male, up to 31 females. Oh, here we go. Interspecies enrichment. Ah, uh, here we go. So they can have all of them together. Oh, 
I guess we need to do some wildebeest. We can get all of these guys in together. Sure thing, day, Alex. Hey, Ellie. I hope you're enjoying. What's your favourite animal? Um, yeah, how how much space have we got? Oh, okay, we've got, we got some space over here we could build a, a habitat. What's in here? Wait, can we actually just, can we just add something to one of the existing areas? That might be easier. What have we already got? Oh, we've got the crocodiles alongside the acapi. That's how you say it. I didn't realise they could... Okay. Can't find them on here. They don't benefit from it, but guessing because these guys don't. Oh no! Wait, there's a there's a fence in between us. Like they're not sharing it. Hey, oxygen frog. How you doing? Yeah, we should probably build something over here then. So let's delete these trees. Du, 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 du. Eat all that. Uh, let's pause things as well. Um, so, I'm just thinking what sort of attainment should we go for? Uh, African wild laugh barriers. Du, du, du. They're like, let's go logs and we can always increase it. We could go red brick, actually. I don't know if this is going to be big enough for everything we got planned. She's going nuts. Penguins, she said. Oh, I love a penguin myself. Can't go wrong with some penguins. Let's go concrete. Let's get concrete bit and we'll go curved. Try and follow the path as much as possible while avoiding the torches. Bendy, bendy, bendy. Who doesn't like a really bendy exhibit? Bend it around. No, I cannot. Let's get that length much shorter. A little bit longer. Boom. Long again. Curvy section. Building a zoo is great. <laughs> Straight section, boom. There we go, new walls done. Bit bendy over there, but that's fine. Um, we will do habitat gate. And we'll have the habitat gate. Where's our nearest staff area? Not a clue, but we could put some stuff over there if we wanted to. So let's have the habitat gate there. Then we need to work out if our walls are actually high enough. <laughs> I love that you can just drag it on up. Select like multiples, I think. It says. No. Edit barrier. Can I not select all of them? That'd be super useful. Here we go, I can select all of it like that, and then I can just drag the whole thing up. Which is awesome. Right, okay, now we know how to do that. Let's work out. Well, I should probably see what's available in animal trading though, shouldn't I? 
we go... We'll check something that's got good interspeciesness. Uh, African buffalo. We get them some giraffe and some springboks. I don't think we've got any of that here. make sure it's stuff that we don't have because we've got to get 18 species. It just depends whether that stuff is available on the market. No, there are no African buffalo available. Right, well, let's just see. Let's just scrap that and see what is available. And we'll go from there. Timber wolves. Well, I doubt you can have them with anything. New. No. Should have given me some ideas. I want to pick Nancy. Bears. Bears are all it's fun. Got flamingos already. Uh pea fowls, they can probably bear a few. Red, have we haven't got any red? Have we got red pandas? Got regular pandas, but oh no, we got red pandas. find stuff that we don't have. So far I'm not seeing anything that we we can the the black bear E fowls maybe. We've got Ariels. We got saltwater crocodiles. I know they're there. Oh yeah, we've got saltwater crocodiles. And we've got a diamondback rattlesnake. I mean, lions and antelopes are compatible just in a Lion King kind of way. I know, if there's, if there's a musical number... Hey Derelite, Jenkins, how you doing? Uh, this is day two of Planet Zoo, but I did play a little bit of the beta, yeah. But it's just going through the missions. I'm just trying to work out what what's best to uh, throw together. So we the bears, but that she was like, oh, you could do some inter mixing with species that all like getting on with one another. But so far, I haven't really found anything that is definitely going to get on with one another. Oh, a, a black wildebeest that should get on with stuff. I'm pretty sure we don't have any of them in the zoo. I just need to see if they get on well with anything else. They do, but whether or not we're going to have any of this stuff appear or not. Let's get you. We'll just send you all to the trade center for now, so we can work it out. We don't have any bears, but you guys will not get along. Let's just create more enclosures. I think I'm gonna have to do more enclosures. It's gonna be your new main management game, Sladen. Yeah, there's just so much to it. What happened to wearing the onesie? Um, wearing the onesie at a hundred subs. We're currently at ninety-five. We could do the black bear and the pea fowls. So I'm just going to have to do... I'll check to see if the pea fowls will go along with other stuff, but let's just bear with, seeing as this is a very good game. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. That's three more. Um, so we could put the bears in here. Or I could separate this off into two. 
actually. Then again, I've got to make sure, I think the next part of this gold mission is that we've got to have 90% welfare everywhere. There's this area I could get rid of some stuff. Build another enclosure there. P-fowls. P-fowls don't need too much space, if I remember correctly. Let's take a look at P-fowls. You guys don't get along with everyone. Um, P-fowl, P-fowl, P-fowl. You don't benefit getting on with anyone. Okay, fine. Hey, Archeon. I'm all good, thanks. How are you? Get rid of trees. I feel like I will need to make this into two sections though. What have we what have we currently got waiting? We've got a male and female bear. Beef owls aren't gonna need much space, and we've got a wildebe uh, black wildebeest. Can I get any more wildebeests? No, just got the one. Will he need much space? <laughs> oh dear. I could give. I could split this one in half, I reckon. There we go. And then if I. I'm going to make a path through the middle. Get rid of that section. I'm going to do a path. And what path have we got here? I'd love a. Uh, oh. A dropper button. That'd be grand. I think I kind of did it, though. Uh, we need to make the width a little bit bigger, I think. There we go. There we go. Do our path through the middle. Lovely. Why can't we connect it right up? Do, 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 do. Um, curve slopes, curve path on ground, map alongside, not railing. Do, 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 do. Ah, we need a curb, that's what we need. There we go, it kind of just went a bit weird. Let's just do that. Now it gives it a curve. A uh, curve, rather, all the way through. There we go. Oh, no. Connect. Connect. There we go. Boom. Got it. Use T junctions. Uh, I should have done. But now we fixed it anyway. Right. Um, edit barrier. You are going to be. Oh, no. Let's just. Uh, let's not do that, actually. Let's make you just fully. make all of you guys glass um, and same all this side actually yeah one one way glass uh, but I need it one way glass from the other side there we go There we go, and the animals won't get scared with people literally walking either side of them all the time. Um, then I think through this section we'll have it with some glass. Viewing through the side there. And then PBA can see it all through there, and if we put... Do that. Don't do. 
<laughs> on the path. Edit barrier. You, you, you. I want glass either side so people can look in. Nice. Then we need another habitat gate, which I guess will pop out on this side. And then you, you and you. And be glass viewing. Um, I think we'll make all of this one way glass as well. And then we'll have some windows. Windowed glass through this bit. Lovely. Right. Two separate habitats ready to go there, and then we just need another little one over here for the for the other one to go in into. Yeah, like the customization options are just ridiculous. I mean, this is and this is me kind of just being pretty casual with all the options. There's so many more intricate options you can do to like make the perfect zoo, the perfect habitat. You can spend you could spend ages just doing one habitat. To be fair. Um. Big old glass habitat, I think. Old glassy glass one. I would now have the lantern the wrong side of it, but who cares? It's fine. Yeah, this is... You will easily lose hours and hours and hours in this. Like, I mean, I'm streaming for another half hour. <laughs> I would love to keep going after that. It's definitely one of those games where I could be like, uh, one more hour, one more hour. But I've... Uh, I'm gonna go pick up the fiance. Uh, right, this bit doesn't. This bit can be solid. It's behind the back of the shop, so it doesn't need to be glass. That bit doesn't really need to either. And the lamp post. Whoops. Not caring. This is not the most delicate. It's getting stuff done. Getting stuff done. These rocks are now mine. Boom. Right, it's all glassed up. Habitat gate. Through there, please. Hopefully p files don't mind being stared at. Guessing that's what I'm putting in there. Right. Animals. I'm not sure that's big enough for it, but I don't know if glass for... That's going to be fine. We'll find out. I've given the p files like the biggest bit. <laughs> Might need actually more of all of them in their areas to make them happy. So once they're in there, we can work out what they need. That's my plan. Other players coming to visit my zoo. Hello. speed so the keepers bring them all around here we go 16 species 17 species I'm sure you know by now there we go your animals happy so you'd best get that sorted before the inspector gets you yeah we're gonna get up to 90 percent did I not mention there was an inspector coming oh dear yeah thanks Nancy um right so yeah yours at 55 percent so we need first of all work out the environment your plants are very happy that there's none of that Coverage, yeah, you're very happy. 
Uh, terrain, you need some more soil. Right, you're not happy with that. Uh, you have no pre preference for a water area, but um, that will just give you... Okay, I'm going to make this too fancy. Let's chuck that in there. In fact, um, hard shelter. You do need some hard shelter. Um, we will just give you a basic bit of shelter. Up against corner. Give you another bit. There we go. Right. You need some enrichment. Want some food and toy enrichment. Filter it by the Black Wildebeest. That's some food enrichment. You want some toys as well. I'll give you a football, a rubbing post, and a grab ball. Unfortunately, we have no interspecies bonus because we couldn't get any of them. Right, your welfare is now at 91%, um, so that's fine. We need an average of 84. So let's go over to the bears and sort them out. Right, terrain. You need hard shelter, you need a climbable area. Some short grass. Just throw it all around. Lots and lots of short grass. It's too much long grass. You need some soil as well. Give you some soil all around here. Some more soil over here. When I do my own franchise zoo, I think I'll uh, I'll meticulously tweak and build every single enclosure. But for these missions, I'll just get it. We'll just get them done. It's still too much long grass, so let's change it to all to short. Right, terrain is now fixed. You need hard shelter. I do quite like building rocky shelters, and for bears, you guys are gonna like some rocky shelters, aren't you? Anything from tropical, temperate, Asia. Tropical, temperate, Asia, and uh, no biomes. Tropical. Give me some tropical rocks. There are no rocks. <laughs> okay, we'll just deal with uh, some whatever rocks we can get. Do, 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 do. I think we'll just build, we'll build a big old cave up in the middle of the... Middle of the hill here. This is, this is probably one of my favourite features, just shelter building. How that whole system works. Let's give ourselves a little shelter outline. It's a nice big one. Getting them to sit on top, aligned surface is what we want. Rotate every little part of it. Let's get it perfectly sitting on there. I've already rebuilt Stonehenge. Surface move. There we go. Let's 
I mean, these look. This probably looks crap compared to what some people will uh, build in the game, but I'm pretty happy with it. And build a nice little cave across. Fill in the whole roof and give them a nice big bit of shelter. Definitely need some support in the middle, I imagine. But thankfully, I don't think that game, uh, this game cares about that so much. But at this angle next, we can fill it. All into the roof. Put it at the other angle. Stonehenge being rebuilt. Let's get a rock in the can. Smush it in. And then one last bit here. Fill it all in from the back. And now they've got a wonderful little rocky, uh, rocky shelter. Hopefully, we hit play now. Yeah, there we go. One hundred percent hard shelter. It's not pretty, but it'll do. There we go. Right. So they're final all their terrain. Um, their plants not good. Right. So let's filter. The plants back in there. Tropical and temperate and in Asia. Two large azalea bushes. I think with this I need to hit play. Azalea bushes all the way around. A little shelter. There we go. Big old bamboo forest around the back of it as well. Okay, nice bit of bit of treeage there. See you, Slav Dan. Thanks for tuning in, dude. Much appreciated, man. Thirteen percent bamboo grove. Picking that all up a bit. There we go. Not great for people looking in, to be honest. But uh, the bears are gonna love it. Right. What else do we need? We need some of these. Some of these ferns all over the place. Oh. I need this to align to surface, please. And I've lost my bear. I know that you're happy with all this. Lots of little ferns all around the big ones. Hey, Panel Freakin' Brad. How you doing? I'm good, thanks. Hope you've had a good day. Ooh, bushes. Let's have some bushes. I feel like we can make bush corner down here. No one can see in over here anyway. Oh, well, they can do that bit. But make some bushes down there. That'll keep everyone happy. Ellie approves of the shelter. I'm glad Ellie approves of the shelter. It's the it's the secret shelter. I say, do they need some... They probably need some water, don't they? No, they don't, actually. They, have no they want a climbable area, though. Have a big old cherry uh, blossom tree over there. 
Good god. You feel like this area is a bit, a bit plain looking. So more more area covered. Unless you, I'm chucking in so many random little plants here. I don't think they all go, but we're going for it. What am I looking forward to in Total War Troy? Um, honestly, nothing right now because I don't know anything about the game. Uh, I'm just hoping it's not as disappointing as Thrones was, to be honest. I appreciate they're meant to be sort of not the, the big budget Total War games, but it was pretty disappointing. Um, drones in the end, it's just... So, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping... I'm hoping they've, they've built on that for Troy. Right, there we go. Coverage is fine now. Lovely. 84%. Loneliness risk. Oh dear. Hopefully that won't affect us. You're hungry. Call the keeper. Um, I'll be doing a let's play of Troy if um, if I'm happy with it. But so uh, yeah, hopefully hopefully they've improved on what they uh, what they need to for it. Um, socials okay. Uh, welfare is enrichment. I need to put a load of stuff in. Um, habitat, habitat, habitat. We need to get rid of that. Um, we need to filter in. Species. And where are we? We are. Or Mosin Black Bear. Marble box. Some food enrichment too. Block of frozen fruit. And have one of those. There. Uh, oh. There, rather. Play on that. Oh. What? No. Unbot. Oh, God. What? Why did they all get boxed up? Unbox all animals. <laughs> right, your social, your welfare is at 85%. So we're at 84. So I imagine now we just need to sort out the P foul. You guys are probably going to be pretty unhappy. Social group, you need a larger. There's too few adults and juveniles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't really do too much about that. Grab more coverage. You're very happy with everything you've got there. You just need some long grass, uh, less long grass, or short grass. Right, you're not happy with your area there. Environment, you're fine. Um, so yeah, it's enrichment. So. Indian peafowl. Have your enrichment box. Parker, have a sprinkler. Oh, the bears wanted a climbing area as well. I never did that for them. Your welfare is now at 89%. 85, right. Let's hit pause because I'm sure we'll have to tweak some of the other animals then. 
Sort by welfare. You, my panda, are not happy. Why are we not happy? Your nutrition. Your nourishment requires a keeper. I have just called a keeper to come here and help you out. That's why you're so unhappy. But you know what? I am just going to get you another keeper. And your work zone is this one. So, please go look after the panda. There we go, you got the food coming in for the panda. Have another Total War sequel that isn't Warhammer 3, what could it be? Uh, Empire 2 is what I'd like. percent still so yeah once they're sorted okay you guys need some let me go some enrichment and then you'll be happier three to flamingo Okay, should make you guys nice and happy. 89%. Oh, come on, we're so close. Oh dear, my panda is really, really unhappy. We could fix that panda. And the keepers not get in or something. Oh, here we go. Finally about to put some food down. Hey, Thom Reese, how you doing? After throwing to Britannia, are you optimistic about Troy? Not particularly. I mean, I think they'd be very silly not to have learnt from the mistakes of drones. So, I'm hoping that once I get a chance to go hands-on with uh, Troy... Nice. Nicely. Well done. Yeah, I'm hoping that once I get a chance to go hands-on with uh, Troy, I'll be, um... Nancy, can I talk to the Twitch chat? No, apparently not. That means making sure they have great views of the animals, lots of places to buy food and drink, and... Well, lots of places to get rid of food and drink. Toilets. You should Lovely. think carefully about where to put your guest facilities, though. For instance, don't put all of the food shops in the same place. Just look at how the guests are distributed around the park and put your facilities where they'll be needed the most. Exactly. As long as you remember to pay attention to what the guests are thinking, you'll soon have a handle on what everyone wants. Good. Well, that, that's what I'm planning. That's what I'm planning. Right, so yes. Um, yeah, once, once I get hands-on with uh, Troy, uh, I'm hoping that, yeah, I'll be able to sort of come back and be like, no, I'm very optimistic about, about the game because of this feature, that feature, what they've done here, here, and here. But, you know, considering Thrones was the last one they did, and it's in the same vein as that, it's a Total War Saga title, I'm, you know, I'm not, um, I'm not optimistic about it, 
because uh, I, I know nothing about it. So, I mean, if it's going to be a total saga right now, the benchmark is Thrones of Britannia, which was disappointing. They had really good sieges in Thrones of Britannia in terms of the maps, but you never really got to utilize them anywhere near as much as you'd like, just because AI was pretty, pretty crap. But yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I, I'm sure my opinion will probably change once I get a chance to play it, uh, if it is improved from Thrones. Uh, hopefully it will be. Um, so, we need to cre increase overall, uh, yeah, habitats, uh, place buildings to get guest happiness, to increase guest happiness, uh, place a chief beef, cosmic cow milkshakes, place an information center, and a toilet block. Okay, we need to find some places to chuck all this in. It's, uh, staff bits over there. Are there any empty areas that I can easily chuck this in? I'm thinking maybe up by my new, over here actually, round around this little corner here, we could probably get a load of stuff in or nice and flat along there let's go chuck all of it down uh guest facilities do, 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 do. any features they hope they add in i mean i don't really know to be honest. i mean obviously I, I i'd like them to add in as many of the good features from 3k as possible to be honest okay we're Actually, oh, can we not? Can we not put it in a? Where do we get the? Is it construction that we get the themed bits? It's just literally, I want, I want pre-made stuff. Can I not get pre-made? I could put a building in that's in the right style. Blueprints. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Nice. That's what I'd like. So we need a toilet block. Uh, oh, maybe. Uh, get that up to actually support that properly. There we go. And then. Button to foundation. That's that's not doing. There we go. Now it is. There we go. I'm doing good. How are you doing, uh, Bright Strick? Or how do you say your name? Most that's possible. Right. So we've got a toilet block. We also need to place. Is that a shell for one? Yes, nice. Perfect. That's what you want. Yeah, cosmic cow milkshakes. So we'll have that one there. And an information center. assume we need to build the path to each of these. Uh, let's chuck in them. Uh, add to building. Come on. Get in there, damn it. Come on, it was nearly there. Can't get it to click in though, it disappears. Don't auto stack it. Maybe it's, ah, here we go. Boom, there we go. Got it in there. Chief. Cosmic cow milkshakes. Oh. Add it into that one. Boom. And we need an information. People are coming to the castle. Thank you very much, a killer, for subscribing. <laughs> Chew off your face. Thanks for four months of tier one.
I'm hoping they do something special for Troy itself, yeah. It is almost here. Now, I fully expect you to pass with flying colours. Anything less, and I might have to organise a little job exchange scheme for you with whoever's mucking out the pandas. No. Oh. Receive a zoo inspection report with an overall star rating of 2.5. I mean, okay. Assume we just triple speed it and hope that it, uh, inspection goes fine. Is there a way to see where the inspector is? Ah, you need power though. Yeah, that that's probably that's pretty important. It's, uh... It's, uh, if we just if we can, I uh, need to I'll need to put a path up here, but that would power all of this quite nicely. Structured by water volume. Yeah. Oh, it's. <laughs> I didn't realise there was water there. All right, let's move you. Um. Da -da -da -da. Move, and then just need you down here. But a uh, staff only path to it. Oh, didn't realize that was there. Let's rotate you around. There we go. Oh, this this is one of the pre-made zoos. This isn't my own one that I created. This is uh, we're just going through career mode. I'm uh, I'm probably just adding to it, making it look terrible. <laughs> How do I how do I manage this inspector? Oh, that's the inspector. There we go. Okay. He's rated that one fine. En route to the new panda habitat. Okay. Call the keeper to clear that one out. They're dehydrated, so I only gave it four stars. He just grades your zoo. Good, good, good. I plan on making this a regular stream. I'd like to stream this at least once a week. Uh, and I'd also like to continue streaming my Solaris series once a week. At the moment, I'm hoping to be streaming Solaris for the next few Mondays. So I'm going to try and make Wednesdays my Planet Zoo Day. That's the plan, at least. So he's just got to go to Habitat 65. What is Habitat 65? Okay, he's going to go see my uh, Black Wildebeest. Oh dear. Uh, call the Keeper. Good thing he's not going to go check them out. He's now leaving the zoo, but yeah, we've got we've definitely got the at least 2.5. Lovely, right, well we completed Panda Park then. Any moment. One hopes. Streaming times, normally uh, Monday's there from 1 till 4pm. Wednesday's uh, on it at the moment. It's been a bit later on in the day, but probably again between 1 and 4pm. And then Fridays, they're normally a little bit later from around 1, 2pm till about... 
6 p.m. Goodness, you know, I really can't believe just how much you've come on during our time together. Thank you. <laughs> it goes to show, Bernie's got a keen eye for talent. Oh, and speaking of Bernie, he's not finished with you yet. He's got a new job for you. Of course, he's got a new job for me. Canada. Yay! I get the feeling that you'd best pack a warm coat. Oh. How boot that? It's been wonderful getting to know you, and I'm sure we'll meet again. But in the meantime, good luck. Thank you. Sorry for messing up your wonderful park in China. I've been told that there are smiles on the faces of all of the guests. And that's a real testament to the hard work you've put into this place. And if anything, I hear the animals look even happier. <laughs> Although, in all honesty, it's, it's hard to tell with the pandas. They're so... Uh, <laughs> Enigmatic. Pandas are so cute. I'm told that Lin Lin's quite the character, though. Oh, ho, she's really been a hit with the visitors. You could even say the business is bam booming. <laughs> yeah, there's a cute panda. Fingers crossed. We might even be able to feature pandas at some of my other zoos. Now that you've shown everyone, we know how to cater for their welfare. I shouldn't be surprised, though. After all. You've become a very capable trainee zoo manager. I suspect there isn't a single task I could throw at you which you wouldn't handle with a plum. That said, I think the next one's gonna be a bit of a curveball. <laughs> Here's a good little panda. Yeah. Right then, well, I guess we can uh, we can quit that one and we can go to main menu. I think it actually tells you that you're like, you're done. On to the next mission. Anyway, if you're watching this on YouTube, let me know if you'd like to see more Planet Zoo down in the comment section. Until the next one, ciao for now.